reading was uh, was like a sort of uh, a lifeline. Poetry almost taught me that it's okay to express yourself. With one line, something extraordinary happens, and somehow you begin to shift the chemistry in your head. It, it, it gives you it gives you permission to be still and to, 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 to be contemplative, which is something that we need, but we very rarely give ourselves permission for. But yeah, a few pages of a book at night can make all the difference. And just knowing that you'll have, at that moment, complete control, and that's very calming. One of the things that I'm interested in is the poetry's ability to speak words we can't find. Yes, that's what it means. That's how it is. That's how I feel. I, I sort of remember that, but I've never been able to word those highest thoughts. He's 13th century, yet his voice is so modern and it so brilliantly described my experience that I just felt, I'm not alone. Hooray! Because the thing about that sort of depression when you're young, as I was, is you're convinced it's only happening to you. And then you read something and people have felt much the same. And that's an enormous relief. And if you can put the worst things imaginable into some words which are beautiful, you kind of trap the monster slightly and you kind of put it at a distance. It didn't make me feel better. It didn't take my pain away. What I felt comforted by was the articulation of, of, of the grief experience that Shakespeare granted Hamlet. What I come back to is that if you're in hospital and the drugs aren't working, which was the position for me, and there's nothing else, at that point, to me, poetry is, is, is the lifeline. Because I don't know what else there is. What really good poetry does is it coalesces that which you did not know you were feeling um, into a body of feeling and words. So it's another way of saying that we've got a thousand and form poems inside us, which great poets bring alive from out of our experience. When one discovers a poem and a poet, you realise that they're encircling you and they're taking you in, and forever from then on, you will be part of their world, part of their, their creation, part of their achievement, part of their way of looking at things, it, and it will never leave you. And that's an astonishing thing.